welcome to day 19 of the morning yoga challenge and today's theme is space. So throughout this 10 minute sequence we will be concentrating on creating space between the ribs, between the spine, so to really elongate the spine and most importantly for me in between the ears and the shoulders we do tend to carry a lot of tension there and a lot of the time without realising it we'll draw our shoulders up towards our ears. So we'll start focusing on that area and we will start in a standing position, arms down by the side, feet can be hip distance apart and then the inhale we'll just draw our shoulders all the way towards our ears and then exhale just release. We'll do that a few more times, so inhale draw the shoulders towards the ears, exhale just release and again, inhale, exhale, release. One more time, inhale, exhale, release. Just let it go, maybe shake that a little bit. And from here on the next inhale, we'll reach the arms up and overhead. Really start to stretch through the fingers. You want to create as much space between the fingers as you can. So really stretch them out, stretch the palms out reach them up nice and tall and then start to come onto the balls of the feet and really start to lengthen through the spine stretch out as much as you can and exhale just let it go and release back down so we'll do that one more time so start to really stretch through the fingers start to reach up towards the ceiling come onto the toes reach, 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 and exhale, again, just let it go, release it back down. <clears throat> so from here, we'll reach the arms up overhead again. And this time, we'll take the right wrist with the left hand, inhale to lengthen through the spine, and on the exhale, just drop it over to the left. You might start to feel a stretch through the side of the ribs, creating space between the ribs here. Then inhale, come back up to centre, swap the grip of the wrists. And then next inhale, lengthen. And the exhale, just start to drop over to the opposite side. Again, you may start to feel that space being created between the ribs. And then inhale, come back up to centre, just release the arms back down. Again, you might like to just take a couple of those shoulder rolls. And then from here, just start to roll down very slowly. One vertebrae at a time. You can start to bend the knees if you like. Releasen the neck and the head down. Coming down to as far as feels comfortable for you. And then start to gently just rock the head out. Yes and no. Creating space in the neck. And you can take opposite hands to opposite elbows and just dangle here. This ragdoll pose. Maybe gently just bend in one leg at a time. Rocking side to side. And come into stillness. Release the hands, come onto the fingertips or bring the hands to the shins and inhale for a flat back position. And then exhale, forward fold, roll back down. And we'll do that one more time. So inhale, flat back position. Exhale, forward fold. Now bend the knees as much as you can to plant the hands on the floor and then just step the knees back so we'll make our way into an all fours position. Check your shoulders are stacked over your wrists, your hips over your knees. We'll take a few cat cows here. So on the inhale, dropping the belly down, lifting up through the chest. And exhale, round through the spine. Draw the navel in. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, round through 
the spine, drop the head down. Inhale to make your way back up. Exhale, dropping the head back down. We'll do that one more time. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round through the spine, grounding the head towards the floor. And then inhale to make your way back up to an all fours position. So from here, we will pull the navel in and send the left toes out behind us. Just coming onto the ball of the left foot. And then gently start to just rock back and forth on the ball of that foot. Just for a bit of a calf stretch, creating space in the muscles in the leg. And then from here, come back to centre. And on the next inhale, just pull the navel in, engage the muscles in the leg, lift that left foot up, toes pointing down. And then send that foot over towards the right side and send your gaze out over the right shoulder. So you might start to feel a nice stretch through the side of the body. Then inhale, engage the muscles in the leg, bring that leg back in, plant it on the floor. Make sure your hips are level and then bring that knee back in. So we'll take that on the opposite side now. So pull the navel in, send the right foot out onto the ball of the foot. And then just gently start to rock back and forth on the ball of that foot. And then come to stillness, pull the navel in, engage the muscles in the leg and lift that right foot up. Be careful not to come too far up that we start to kind of make the hips uneven. Toes pointing down and then send that left foot, that right foot <laughs> over to the left side and send your gaze over the opposite shoulder to the floor. So inhale, pull the navel in, lift the leg, bring it back in, plant the foot down, and then just come back to an all fours position. So just walk the hands back now. You can release any tension in the wrist, maybe giving yourself a couple of wrist rolls in one direction and then the opposite direction. Maybe really open the hands up and stretch through the fingers and then crunch the hands together. So we'll just do that a few times. And when you're ready, we'll come down to a child's pose. You can bring the knees out so the mat distance apart and the big toes to touch, or you can just have the legs together, see what feels good for you. Bring the bum back towards the heels, start to walk the hands out in front. And you can bring the sole of the head, the sole of the head, the forehead rather, down to the floor. Just resting here. And as you're here, breathe into the belly. And as you inhale, notice whether you can feel space being created in the back of the ribs. And gently we'll walk the hands back up, tuck the toes, continue to walk the hands back to the mat and slowly start to straighten the legs, 
we'll start to roll ourselves back up to a standing position, just stacking one vertebrae at a time. As we get to the top, reaching the arms up and overhead, again stretching through the fingers, maybe coming onto the ball of the feet. And then exhale, releasing the arms down by the side. <clears throat> and to finish the practice, we'll just finish with a few shoulder rolls, drawing the shoulders towards the ears, drawing them down the back. We'll do that two more times. Just take them nice and slow. And that is the end of our morning practice today. I hope you feel like you've created space in between uh, the joints and the, and the connective tissue and also the ribs and the, the ears and the neck. And I hope to see you back for tomorrow, day 21. And tomorrow, no, sorry, day 20. And tomorrow's theme is side body where we will be working on really stretching and strengthening the side of our body so i hope to see you then thanks namaste